All right, we're live here still at Gotni Leadership Center. Today is a beautiful day and I have with me here the leader and the president of today's event. Sir, please introduce yourself to us. Linus Okore, the CEO of the Gotni Leadership Center, the yeah. most comprehensive leadership center in the country. Oh, thank you so much. You look fabulous today, sir. How are you feeling today? Exciting. It's inspirational. It's, I'm looking forward to a huge learning system that will impact the very best across the entertainment space as well as the creative enterprise sector. And my desire is that everyone would um, enjoy the two days of learning and they will be so empowered so that by the time they leave they will come out with so much energy and then with leadership capital that can influence and impact their involvement in life itself. Great, absolutely awesome. So to the theme of today's uh, the conference is leading with Gotney. Yes. Got right? Mm -hmm. So how, how how do we do that? Yeah, I mean, Enlighten us. <laughs> the interesting thing is that leadership flows to the one who knows. Ooh. When When you know it, you begin to grow. And so, once leadership competences become part of your, your life, you have no choice but to lead. Everybody will feel your impact wherever you are, as a result of the fact that you already have the leadership capital that can enable you to perform extraordinarily. Um, so, uh, Ingenia Noa uh, Danlaji has been an individual who has a great passion for investing, um, in, in, to, to impact the less privileged in ways un, 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 unbelievable. And so as a result of that, he has always worked with celebrities and the very best, you know, across the country and even beyond the country. So it's on the basis of that that we thought that since Gotney Leadership Center is in the business of developing leadership capital of the very best, so can we partner with Engineer Noah's um, legacy project, you know, to be able to create an opportunity for a mind shift, mind transformation of the very best in the industry. I'm talking about entertainment space and the creative enterprise. So if that happens, what it means is that the, the participants will live here with a renewed, reinvented self, energies that will go out there and become real role models that can inspire the young people of Nigeria. All right, thank you very much, enjoy. Today, I welcome okay. all of you to the God Institute Center. It will interest you to know that the lady who actually served the national anthem 20, over 25 years ago. She was actually, it was actually in her house that this vision was born. And so I, you could feel the nostalgia, the feeling that vision come true, dreams come true. And this program is important to me, very important to me. You remember the first day we launched the first, uh, the first chapter of the program? Because I felt that I've traveled the world looking for the very best of leadership institutions. But I felt that if we're going to host a leadership center in Nigeria, call it the Harvard of Nigeria at this time, that there was a need for us to begin to invest in the lives of those who our young people see on the screen, on social media, at every point in time. Because we felt that there were certain types of values that we were not comfortable with that some were projecting. We felt if we could invest in the lives of these people, I'm certain that you know new values will emerge and it will impact on the lives of the people. And so the first one came to participate in this program. We could imagine participating in Harvard University, the costs of participating in it. The first one was done and it was fantastic. You saw some of the very best minds from the Motolas and all of the Canary Canary. It was amazing. And even AY, who is going to be sharing his experience, you know, was also part of that event. But the second batch came, and we felt this program must hold and will give more people the opportunity to participate. 
to be very honest with you, by the time you are done with this program, you will write a thank you note to the center. You will write a thank you note to the man that I'd like to introduce in a few moments. The man I'm about to introduce to you today, ladies and gentlemen, it's someone that has invested so much resources, not just in promoting the less privileged in the context of helping them grow and become the best that they can be. It's somebody who has sponsored competitions at various levels, elevating so many young people who had no resources. Today, about 14 of them are on their way to the United States on full scholarship wow. on the basis of this. Wow. The person I'm about to introduce to you today is the one who made this happen. I mean, who decided to say, you know what? I'm going to invest in 40 people, 40 of them. I will provide them the opportunity to participate in this particular program. And he did it with the whole of his heart, the kindness of his heart, you know, to ensure that he is one of the most single persons that have invested in Nollywood across board. I'm certain that you know about that. He has invested heavily on the people. And then he decided to say he would, you know, make sure this happens fully by him. The Noah Engineer Noah Legacy Fund project is driving this initiative. Let me say this, overseas, school institutions like Harvard, you have billionaires that will put money in the institution and create fellowships and get people from all over to participate. But in Nigeria, not a lot of people are interested in the education of the minds of the generations of leaders. But if one person can say, I want to bring out my resources and time to make sure this happens, I think that person deserves some level of celebration and appreciation. It is on that note, ladies and gentlemen, that I formally, formally welcome you to the Godly Leadership Center. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I promise you that you are going to have an experience you will never forget. Amen. Never forget. We are holding you to that. You are holding me to my promise. Yes, and I'm going to do that. And so, let me officially welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this center, Engineer Noah Danaji. Please, please celebrate him. And on, and on that note, on that note, just before Engineer comes to share, before Engineer Noah Dalaji, ladies and gentlemen, who in a very few days ago was giving an honorary doctorate degree. Ooh. I mean, I mean, let's honor him again. So he's now Doctor Engineer. <laughs> so before before Engineer comes to you know, I mean, say a few words. I would like at least two people to give their good messages. One is someone who has participated in the program. At least he sat here for two days. <laughs> I, I've never seen AY sit down at the place. Yeah. But AY sat for two days. Oh, wow. and so he would give his a few seconds, he'll give his vote, his uh, keen message. And then of course, I'm sure you know Emmanuel uh, Bab Babayaro. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes. that's him too. He would also give, a, a, you know, some of his key supporters give a, a brief 30 seconds golden message and then before we now bring in engineer noah to now share his thoughts and then after that we will now take a group photograph with him officially and then we will now return back for the business of Yay. the day ladies and gentlemen welcome thank you and then you're talking they'll just be looking at you okay wait till you are okay. That's why we love to go far, <laughs> where there is respect. Yeah, we love this yes, respect. the law, the law of safe around here. Okay, it's so good to be here, and um, as a matter of fact, I've I've been here before. I sat just where you guys are seated, and I had a swell time, you know, learning. You know, there are things that we we just have this impression, we have this feeling like we know it completely. Because of the industry where we come from, you, our level, our reason, the way we operate, we just believe that, okay, in my field, me as Kathy, if he's dancing, forget it. 
I know every. And then you look at yourself as okay, me as an actor, if it's acting, I know it. But right there is different. Now, how do you navigate all of that and marry it with leadership, with understanding the rudiments, with understanding what <coughs> is needed to be done and how you go about doing it? Most of the things I learned here, I applied them to my craft and uh, it, it put me in a position whereby I, I will say to myself that, okay, Ewa, you've improved you know, on yourself and in understanding the things that you're supposed to understand. But the beautiful part of all of this is knowing that we are beginning to have people who love to partner with our industry, which is something that has been difficult. Even what an individual, an individual is doing right now, our government hasn't done it for us. Yeah. Yeah. And that is one reason why we need to celebrate this man who will just look at the industry and be like, okay, let's have 40 people. And it's not just in this sector, in different sectors, he's been doing it. And I think he deserves a round of applause one more time. I am not very good with talking too much. Ah. <laughs> I, I, I'm the I'm the action man. I am the, the practical one. In the, uh, on the other note, so I'd like to uh, stop here, so that the business of the day, because I've been here, you would you're going to have a sore time. You're going to have the time of your life learning. You will write. You will jot down things to the point that you bring your recorder. You will just get. I don't know if the same if it's the same package that we had. Mm. If it's the same package, then trust me, you guys are gonna come out, and your life will never ever be the same. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank, you. thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, gentlemen, we are so sorry we came late, and um, ladies and gentlemen. So, but um, I just want to say two few things uh, to all of you. First of all, thank you for coming for the program and also to give you a brief about our organization. Now, a lot of people know, some of you know about the NGO uh, because we have worked with some few of you before. The African Children Talent Discovery Foundation, which is the ACTDF, it stands for Discovering Young People's Talent. And uh, we all know that today we're all nature. And then we know also nature doesn't make a mistake. So that means we are all born for a purpose. So that purpose is what we are after to discover. What is the purpose why we are being created into this world? And that's the core objectives of our foundation, the African Talent <coughs> Discovery Foundation. So they have already said many things that um, I don't need to start repeating. Uh, I mean, in 2010, we signed a program called the Sister City Package with the city of Auckland. And uh, in 2011, it was signed into law by the then President Barack Obama. And what that means, uh, it gives us the opportunity to bring about five to 600 students to study free of charge every year, where many people don't even know. And also, it gives us to get about um, millions of dollars equipments of the hospitals, I mean hospital equipment down to the country here, also free of charge. And it also gives us opportunity to interact with the, the Hollywood, the Nollywood, the whatever you can ever think of. And thanks to you guys, because uh, today we are part of Nigeria. I told people, when you talk about Nigeria today, you must talk about the entertainment industry. Thank you very much. Because these are the people who make the country proud. Yes. When you are talking about, oh, Nigeria is bad, you can also think about the entertainment industry who are also doing well and also making everybody proud in this country. Now, we cannot sit down and wait for the government to do things for us. Already we are doing it, you guys are doing it, and uh, everybody is doing it on this way. And also, the impact is also there. So you might start wondering, so why are we... Why, why, are you, why, have you been, why are you invited to come to where it's an NGO who is after the less privileged? Of course, um, you are not a less privileged. You are an elite that are role model, that millions of people look up to you. 
and uh, you have to also incorporate these people. You know, I was telling somebody, uh, a young man would be looking at uh, maybe AY, moving, sagging his trouser, and the next thing he also starts sagging his trouser because, oh, AY is his role model. I'm not knowing that maybe AY have a reason, he's trying to sell a market or something. So without them knowing, they'll go into that kind of life, and then the next thing they'll start misbehaving, and then those are the kind of character we're trying to arrest. And also how you address them, maybe in the media, or how you speak to them on the social media also matters. And that's the more reason why the leadership program is very important to you, because when you are impacted, you also incorporate them. The moment you go out there, they look up to you, whatever you say is what they say. When you start a new attitude or a new behavior, they start it also. The reason is that they are looking up to you. All their prayer is that, oh, I want to become like Julian, I want to become like Francis, I want to become like Uche, I want to become like other people, I want to become like Kathy. The only thing they know is, I want to become like this one. But meanwhile, they could be better, you know, if there is a way we can address them, because everyone has a different knowledge. I can never be, Francis and Francis can never be me. We could answer the same surname, but Francis is Francis, Noah is Noah. We can even answer Francis, I can answer Francis Duru and Francis Noah, yes. <laughs> but guess what? Francis will be addressed maybe by the way of his behavior. So when they want to describe, okay, I'm, I, can, I can give a good, perfect example of the twins. I can see twins here. <laughs> now, you know they look alike. So when you see them, it's difficult for you to say, oh, this is who, this is who. But you know, guess what? If you want to describe them, you will say, no, the one that is a bit aggressive and the one that is quiet, quiet. quiet. and exactly. that must be something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so definitely that's the same character. They, they, they were born the same day, but they have two different stuff. They have different talent. This cannot be this, this one cannot be this. When you look at Peter and Paul, one can dance very well and the one can sing very well. But they were born the same day. So that's the impact of what we are about to get today. And that's the more reason why we said, okay, let us put up something for the entertainment industry and then see how they can also impact other people that are looking up to them. And that's the more reason why we are here today. And for you also to give up most of the stuff you are doing and to participate. I mean, please, can we give them... Yeah. So on this note, uh, I'd like to stop here. And then I want to wish you the best to have the best time in the leadership program, which I know uh, <coughs> after you are true, uh, you definitely know that you do not waste your time for coming here. Because you knowledge is that? not really, knowledge is important. And you are imparting it to yourself, although you pass it to other people. Mm -hmm. Knowledge is power. power. And vision is a ministry. Yes. We all have vision that we must fulfill. And that's why we're here. So thank you so much. And I wish you the best on the classes. God bless you. And this now we have declared the leadership summit today open. Thank you and God bless.